Welcome back. One of the questions I get asked frequently is, how do you stay up to date on everything? Well, I have many different tactics, probably about a dozen or so. But one of the main tactics I use is I peruse the documentation, believe it or not. And in most of the documentation here for most of the security products, there will be a what's new section. And in that what's new section will tell you what's new with each update. Pretty useful. But there's also an RSS feed. So what I've done is built a flow in Power Automate to subscribe to the RSS feed and then have it send me an email whenever there's a new entry to the RSS feed with the title and a link and a summary of what happened there in the body of the email. And that's gonna look something like this. So it's just a nice email that gets sent, tells me what's new in Intune or whatever the product may be that I'm subscribed to. And I can click on the link here and go read more about it. Pretty useful. Um, I've done this for uh, quite a few other products. Let me show you. So here's some other security products I've done this for. Uh, this is free. I'm just using my, my Microsoft Live account to do this. And it's pretty useful. Again, this is just one tactic out of many but it's something that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to in these what's new sections, because as you can see here with Intune as an example, it tells you exactly what's being released with links to read more about it. And if you subscribe to the RSS feed via Power Automate and the email notifications, it's just another way to stay up to date. Okay, folks, uh, hopefully you found value in this. I would love to hear from you, how do you stay up to date? So be sure to let me know in the comments. And we have a lot more videos coming, so please go ahead and subscribe so you can be notified, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.